welcome to my channel. I hope this finds you all healthy and happy. Please enjoy the upcoming video, and if you do, like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm coming on just really quickly um, to show you a little um, teeny tiny portable sewing machine that I got. And this is it. Um, I have batteries in it because the reason that I got it all, oh, the reason that I got it in the first place was because I uh, don't have room for my, to get my my real sewing machine out um, and uh, and it was only it was very inexpensive it was only about twenty dollars a little over twenty dollars I had a coupon as well and so I thought well I'm gonna go ahead and try it and like I said it takes four double A batteries to work like this or it has um, a place for a little foot pedal which comes with it and a um, a place for your uh, your AC, you know, your adapter for the outlet for a regular outlet. And um, it's got a little light. I don't know if I can turn it up so you can see the light. See the light down here that shines. <laughs> it's kind of a cute little thing. Um, they had um, a, a heavier. And I'm not going to go through a whole tutorial about how to um, how to uh, um, thread it and all that good stuff because you can see that on the uh, online. But uh, did I say this one is by KPCB Tech, which I have no idea who they are or anything. But uh, it has a little spool here that. Um, that you can see that has the thread and then you just thread it down through and um, this was the piece of whoops this was the piece of uh, material and it's uh, kind of a heavy denim like material and this was the material that they used in it to to test it and it was actually under the presser foot um, with the needle down in it you know when it was actually when I actually opened it um, they only had one line of stitching going down here but I've gone down a couple more times and they had white threaded onto the little machine um, and I noticed that the thickness of their thread is heavier than what the thread that I normally sewed with constantly so I've got that in the machine right now so I don't know how that's gonna work but we'll see um, and this way you know with using it on battery I don't have to worry about the foot pedal I don't have to worry about finding a place to to plug it in I can just bring it over from there which is the corner of my living room and bring it over to here and um, set it down and I made a little what do we call these little snippet things you know that are you know with some book paper and um, some uh, looks like a coffee filter and some other stuff and I sewed just to see what it would do and um, it, it does fairly well I mean it really does fairly well so I'm going to test it out here with you again um, using the uh, the thread that I put in it and I, I couldn't I didn't want to mess around today with uh, winding another bobbin um, I call these bobbins and they've got a bobbin here and of course one inside um, but I didn't want to mess around with that so I just put uh, um, two different colors of thread on which had bobbins that were pretty close to being full and I've got a piece of whoops sorry about that I got a piece of, of book page here it says to Ethel from Annie Edwards in 1956 anyway <laughs> I've got a piece of book page here and I'm gonna just stitch and 
and see if I can't, you know, make a little pocket out of it. I'm just going to stitch down and around and up and over and just see what it does. Can't hurt, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's got a little, uh, like I said, it's got a little presser foot lever here. You're supposed to start it by doing a couple stitches um, by hand, by use, turning the hand, the hand wheel. And, um, as soon as I do that, I automatically, automatically want to lift my foot to use my presser foot. <laughs> so this is going to be a learning curve for me as well, because, um, I'm not used to, you know, a little machine like this, but we'll see. Whoa. See there, and it, yeah, you gotta, I forgot that you have to actually press the button to stop and start it. And it looks like, well, I can't really tell. We'll look at it whenever we're done. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just pull this. You're supposed to keep it in the most upright position, and then until you can get your bobbin thread to release, your bottom thread to release, and then you can pull it out. And of course, just like any other machine, you push your threads to the back. Yeah, the tension is off because of uh, because of the different thickness of thread. I'm sure that's what it is. So... Adjusting the tension, loops on the bottom, tighten, that's what I thought. Okay, so I'm going to tighten the, this is the tension screw here, and I'm going to tighten it just a tad to see if that helps anything, and we'll go across the bottom here. But I think it's going to be... Um, it's going to be just, you know, basically, oh, uh, did my thread come out? It did. And this part is another thing that I wasn't really too used to. You have to really pull the, the thread, like manually pull it so that you have enough. Because if you turn the hand wheel, it doesn't want to always advance your, your top thread. Um you know, like a regular sewing machine does. If you, you know, turn the hand wheel, it will, you can get your, your thread to, to move. And it's not, it's not hard to thread. I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing. But I just thought I would turn the camera on while I was doing this because you've, all heard me or seen me maybe even um, in my comments say that I you know I don't have a machine well I do have a machine I've always had a sewing machine ever since I could walk I think basically um, and uh, but it's such a humongous hassle to get it out um, from where it it is uh, stored um, and out here on my in my work area or on my little desk here that I do my crafts on and of course I've had no problem threading the needle up until right now when I'm on camera oh obviously um, but um, yeah I've had uh, I've had a machine forever, but it's just, it's just too hard. It's just too hard. Shortly after I moved here and I was getting my stuff all situated where I wanted it and all that kind of thing, I was commissioned to do um, a sewing project. Um, 
and it was um, a cover for a, a baby car seat. So it was quite a lot of sewing and quite a lot of um, maneuvering around with the fabric and cutting and all that kind of thing. And oh, it just about drove me insane. Um, yeah, because I just I just don't have I don't have the room anymore to do that. So so I was trying this little guy and see if this will work. stopped anyway that time. Now we'll see. I, I tightened the tension up just a tad. See how that looks on the bottom. And this part here is just a little weird for me, like I said. Um, now see, it, it stops and it actually wiggles, wiggles, I don't know if you can see, and bends the needle whenever I try to pull on that. Um, so, yeah, I wanted some th threads hanging off of this anyway, so it's, it's different, of course, than it is when you're, when you're stitching on fabric, obviously, because this is paper. Um, and it, um, it. seems to be I mean it it's stitching okay but the threads are or the uh, stitch length is really tiny and short I'm not sure what's causing that because it wasn't when it was on the fabric and you can see if you look at the underside of it how the stitches aren't the way they really should be um, but yeah I'm going to try giving it another little half turn <clears throat> in the tension and see if that'll do anything. And like I said, they want you to... Oh, am I going to lose my needle again? Yeah. See, that's... <clears throat> I'm not used to that. <laughs> not, but that's okay. It's just a little itty bitty guy. I can't I can't be too hard on it here. And I mean, you know, if it's gonna, you know, stitch a stitch a pocket or two or, you know, put some decorative stitching on something, um, when I'm making something or whatever, or doing, you know, a, a vintage whatever, then so be it, that'll be fine. The instructions for it are really simple. It came really fast. I just got it through Amazon. And there are several of them on there to choose from. I mean, this one. Oh, I wanted to show you that as well. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is what I wanted to show you. This is a little... Um, a little extension tray. It's got little legs that fold down. Um, I don't know how much I'll use this, but um, it it came with the the model that I got, and uh, you know it it makes a nice little sturdy um, tray out here. It's got some measuring on here, some inches, and looks like centimeters and inches. Yes, and um, yeah, it, uh, it makes it nice and it, it is pretty sturdy and stable, especially with the batteries in it. Now, I, I think it would be, you know, um, that little tray makes it stable, even if you don't have, you know, aren't running it with batteries. Okay, so I, I did get it threaded, of, of course, and um, I will see how this goes on, on with uh, adding just a little bit more tension to it. Okay.
doesn't want to seem to release the bottom. There it goes. Didn't want to seem to release the bottom thread that time. Okay. Well, that's a little better. It might be just the paper that I'm using, you know, this particular time out, you know. Um, but, um, you know, you, you're normally going to glue this part down to, on a project anyway. So, there we go. I'll show you up close. This is the the line that I just stitched. Um, and this is the back of it. So, I mean, it's far from perfect. I mean, it's not like a... It is definitely not like a... Um, a big, regular, normal machine. But, um... I, I think it's going to work out okay. Um, that made a cute little pocket for a journal or whatever. So yeah, um, I don't know how it's going to do on this. I've got some um, crinkly uh, yeah, that stuff. Um, parchment paper that I was using to make um, to dry some flowers with under in and <laughs> and um, yeah so I want to see how it does on that as well You just you never know, you know, because this is this parchment paper is very, you know, kind of slick and slippery, and so we'll see how it does on here, just for kicks. go back and forth with your wheel to get it to I just like a little tail of threads on the on the on you know when you're done stitching so yeah that's actually essentially about the same there's the stitch and then the back of it so, yeah, but I mean, I think for the money that I paid, which wasn't a ton, um, and for, you know, what I'm going to be using it for, uh, I think it will work, work out for me. Um, so, just a little, a little, um, review, I guess you could say, on this little KPCB Tech, KPCB Tech, uh, sewing machine. So, all right, and it also has, <laughs> has like a little free arm here. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> you know, to put, yeah, to if you're gonna sew something like a 
like a band or a sleeve, but it would be, uh, be nice for a belly band or something like that out of some fabric. And So, okay, well, we will let it go with that. And <laughs> thank you so much for, um, for hanging in there with me through this little little demonstration or whatever you want to call it little review of this little machine and uh, I appreciate you watching and thank you until I visit with you next time God bless you bye bye